All right, we begin with the artificial intelligence boom. As U.S. states race to gain an edge in this new technology, New Jersey is establishing a new AI hub at Princeton University as part of a, an initiative to make New Jersey a national leader in AI, and it follows the state's creation of an AI task force in October to train state employees on it. Joining us now, uh, first on CNBC, to talk about the AI push and much more is New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. Welcome back, uh, Governor Murphy. Good as always to see you. Good to be back with you, folks. Thanks for having me. Delighted to, uh, that you could join us. Let's talk first about the initiative with Princeton uh, in AI. What is it exactly? How will you and the university collaborate, and what do you hope to achieve? Yeah, my late mother used to say, you're known by the company you keep. We couldn't be keeping better company than Princeton University. Uh, this is, a, just as you suggest, it's a generative AI hub. Uh, it will be located on or near the Princeton campus. Our economic development authority will put significant amount of capital to work. Uh, and the notion, the, the, the ground zero for generative AI is overwhelmingly in the Bay Area. When you ask the folks out there, why are they there? It's because that's where the talent is. So my fervent hope is that we can recreate a hub on the East Coast. And I'm quite confident that working with Princeton, we could do just that. And as you also mentioned, we announced a task force and some other steps a couple of months ago. Generative AI will, will change our society, never, never mind uh, the, the technology in our society. It, it will run throughout state government, society, and beyond, and, and we want to be out ahead of it. What makes uh, uh, initiatives like this uh, really uh, take off uh, from, from a standing still start uh, is money. Where's the money? How much of, a, of an investment is being made here, and who's making it? It'll be both Princeton and the state of New Jersey through our Economic Development Authority. The, 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 the dollar amount is yet to be determined, but this is not the first hub we've, we've done in New Jersey. Uh, we've done uh, several of these, and we typically put 20 to $25 million dollars uh, to work in, in these sorts of hubs. I would envision something in that range from our side. I, I don't want to speak for Princeton, but mm -hmm. I, would, I would guess that they'll be in uh, for, for something uh, comparable. How, uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about the sort of the end result if all of this goes as you would hope it would. I assume you would, uh, you would expect to generate jobs uh, from, this, from this initiative, either people who work in the hub or companies that come and locate uh, uh, in central New Jersey or elsewhere in New Jersey because that's, it becomes a hub for generative AI. And it would address one of the things that has been kind of surprising to me as a resident of the state, and that is rising unemployment in the state of New Jersey. How, 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 explain why unemployment's been going up a little bit in New Jersey and how many jobs yeah. you think this hub could create ultimately. Well, I, l let me start with the hub and the jobs uh, uh, that I, I, I think you're, first of all, exactly right. The economic development aspect of this could be significant. Uh, and you're seeing companies measured. We've got one company in New Jersey already in the data center hard, hardware side of this industry. Uh, just did a recent round of financing, valuing them at $8 billion. And they're a relatively new startup. Sorry, my earpiece is giving me trouble here. That's all right. Um, so that's, that's clearly a, a big part of this. Secondly, I think it will better inform us as it relates to uh, regulatory and ethical issues. And thirdly, you know, our hope is that we can deliver government services in a hyper-efficient, responsible way. And I think this hub could impact all three of those. I'm not terribly worried about the unemployment rate. Uh, we are a little bit above uh, the national average, although uh, we're suffering what a lot of states are suffering, which is a mismatch. So we're desperate for folks to go in, for instance, to education and health care, nursing in particular. Uh, but, but coming out of the pandemic, we were a little bit slower to achieve uh, the, our lowest levels of unemployment, but we did. In fact, we led the nation for a period of time. I would suspect uh, that this is a temporary lead lag. We're doing an enormous amount to try to make, uh, to get that pipeline of educators and healthcare workers uh, as vibrant and as full as possible.